Queen Elsa of Disney's Frozen has said, You can't marry a man you just met. Do you agree with this? I'm pretty sure elders would. As they always say, marriage is not like rice that you can spit out when it's hot. But what if fate tells people that they should end up together? Well, that's for us to discuss in Nick Joaquin's Mayday Eve. There are many superstitious beliefs that point to the person destined to be your lifetime partner. For example, when you share twin strawberries with someone else, you'll end up with that person. Finding out who's destined for you can be as simple as playing MASH. Remember that game from your elementary days? Well, in the literary classic Mayday Eve, there is a ritual done to find out who you're going to marry. First, stand in front of a mirror in a dark room. Hold a candle, recite the incantation provided, then you'll see the face of the person destined for you. But be wary, because if things go wrong, you'll see the face of a devil or a witch. This ritual may be something a person in his mischievous youth, such as Agueda and Bandoy, would believe in, especially if it had been handed down from generation to generation. But should we let superstitions or destiny dictate what happens in our lives? We may sometimes catch ourselves torn between, if it's meant to be, it will be, and if you want it, you have to go after it. Fate versus free will. In a 2014 research made by Duke University professor in psychology and neuroscience Aaron Kay and colleagues Simone Tang and Stephen Shepard, it was suspected that very difficult choices, dilemmas with no clear solution, shift us into a more fatalistic state of mind. Rather than make a decision in the face of paralyzing uncertainty, we defer to some invisible hand to control the outcome. With that, people relying on fate often just let something drive their lives without realizing that it actually undermines their personal responsibility to work and decide for themselves. If you obey everything fate dictates, you will never be sure if you'd be happy or miserable just because you did not take the chance to choose what you really want for yourself. I hope you never face regret in whatever you choose whether to trust in fate or work on something you're passionate about. Having regrets feels like being tied to something that hinders you from enjoying your life because there are many things that you cannot take back, such as hurtful words uttered, opportunities passed up, or lost time. Similarly, marriage means you're entering a lifetime of partnership with someone. It will be the two of you through thick and thin. So when finding your lifetime partner, remember to choose wisely between fate and personal will. It's good if fate works in your favor, but if it doesn't, I hope you find time to appreciate what you have and free yourself from living a life full of regrets. Find out how superstitions and fate worked for Don Bandoy and Doña Agueda in Mayday Eve, written by Filipino writer Nick Joaquin. <laughs>